Okay, I am going to do a test, a light fast test on my Windsor Newton pocket box. It's a mix of different paint. I think. I can remember, I have, uh, I might, because I feel like I still have the Cotman ones, this was a Cotman set, and I think, uh, I don't want to lie, but I think one or two of these is actually still a Cotman color, it might be this one, it, I'm pretty sure it was this one, and maybe the yellow ochre, just because, um, their life vest was excellent, and um, and maybe even this one, maybe, no, I don't think so, looks cool, I'm not sure, anyway, the rest are, um, all different brands, I think Da Vinci, M. Graham, maybe Selenier, um, so, we'll see how they fare in the light after, um, the winter in the rest of this summer so I'm still going to use this little brush it's not that great but I'm just doing a swatch test so I'm going to start and get through really quickly I, I'm not going to clean this palette because uh, all this paint is in here and I'm doing a test on the light for how it fares yeah, I don't think this is Cotman just because it does pick up pretty quickly, but um, it could be. And um, yeah, I don't remember if, why I made this particular palette because this is an older box I used to use. And um, I'm not sure if I liked this one because it was granulating, because it was just a step up from other paint I had, or, um, I have no idea. I don't know if it was granulating, if it was opaque, or anything, so. But, paint is a little harder to clean off my brush now, so it might be opaque set that I tried to make or made for reasons that I don't remember whatsoever I don't know if it was a staining set I liked because I don't remember my state of mind with art back then I don't remember what I was just up to everything like 10 years ago or 12 or whatever the hell Okay, that didn't really move much. I like that. I forgot maybe it was this set was some more control. I don't know. This definitely looks like a cadmium. Oh no, I don't think so. I mean, uh, a real one at least. It Yeah, sorry, I don't remember if these were, how many were M. Graham, how many were Da Vinci, Rembrandt, probably Da Vinci, Van Gogh, Rembrandt. I don't, I say Da Vinci a lot just because I, I, I love Da Vinci a person in general, but um, I don't own anything Da Vinci, like I don't own any brushes from Da Vinci. So, when I say Da Vinci at any time, I, I think I mean Van Gogh. 
I should get DaVinci brush though. Maybe I'll look into one today. I just don't need one. So that's why I'm trying to use these brushes because I need to use these more. They're for travel and I haven't traveled, so I don't need these, but I need to use them. Because like well, most people end up using one brush, but I mean you really do get better quality work faster when you have multiple brushes to work with out and about. And this would be great when I'm like with family, but you know, I usually pick up my guitar or something anyway. It'd be fun just to sketch something I can remember when I'm over there at the house at their house uh, visiting. Yeah, I haven't used this in so long, but I like I like these colors. I like this. I like how it blends in compared to like all my other ones. In fact, just gonna lift that a little bit. Just trying to blend this out a little bit better, because I know it's gonna dry horrifically. Um, the st streaks are, but whatever. Okay, that wasn't so great. I don't care. Um, where am I? I realize I did not leave a lot of room at all because I have a lot more colors than I thought. So I'm gonna do the rest of these pretty narrow since I don't really need that long, that wide to go. Or at least I'm gonna try to attempt to. Couldn't get rid of that initial line and that purple. This blue, I don't even know why I got this blue. I don't even think I need that this blue in this set, but I really liked it at the time when I was uh might have bought this when I was like 20. Might, might have bought this like 10, 10, yeah, over 10 years ago. So, or no, I definitely did, but maybe even yet more than that, longer than that. Um, I feel like I bought it for as a sky color, never used much. It is, it is pretty used up actually. Now that I think about it, but like I said, I don't remember anything I painted with it. But I don't remember any of my anything I sketched with. So I guess that's a great. Uh, a lot of people paint like that. Uh, you just paint, paint it, forget it, and then later on when you come across it like a photo album, you're like, oh my god. I gotta have that. That cool time. These first lines are like hard to get out. When I lay this down. That dried all the way off. It's crazy. For a long time, I actually would just take this pocket box. I still think it's, I don't know. I want to like more pocket boxes because they all, all the rest look cooler, I think, in my opinion, than this one. But this one really is the most versatile for me so many ways it's just compact it's lightweight it's great just i don't know my opinion i don't know it looks outdated but to me sometimes they might scream like look at me i'm painting i don't want it's weird um but when i do hikes and stuff this one or the other my the one i gave away i used a lot and then this one as well so this is the only one I take with me 
to be honest when I go hiking um, on a hike a long hike by myself expecting to paint um, I have I do take this <clears throat> and I have some green paint this is this is Windsor Newton paint I believe um, this green, but, uh, it's not a great green, but I think I got it just so I could have a different kind of green since I can mix another green, but also I think, I don't know, I think it was just because my tube, my Windsor Newton green tube, I don't remember what color it says, vibrating or something, but it was, uh, I think it had a hole in it, so I was like, oh, fuck it, I just put this in a tube or in a pan, and I put it in several pans and gave one away. But it's just another green. Times you might need this, but I don't think I've. I don't remember what I've needed to use this on specifically. So I think I just needed to get rid of the tube. This is my favorite color, which I don't like to use a lot, or I like to spread out, but also because it's very transparent or um, very sh glossy even after it's dry so this will show that this is uh, an old version of M. Graham's Quinn Gold made with some pigment that I think became illegal or endangered so they changed it to whatever it is now But she's beautiful. Okay, they all have that hard line because I'm not wetting these as I'm starting the uh, swatches. Um, and I don't know what I do. I just don't do stupid. I have it of not wetting the swatch first. I know they have some papers that have squares built in, which are great, so you can wet without worrying. And uh, I would like to get that eventually, but they're just those things are like crazy expensive, like thirty dollars for like a set of those. Like, nah, that's chill. I could do that with a pen, but also like I, they know what they're doing because like I don't do it with a pen. So eventually I'll buy one when it becomes cheaper. Or I just they probably are cheap. I just haven't seen them. I need to look for them, but it's all good. Some some things come with like that, like blocks and or swatch box um like with 15 different swatch cards i mean so that's kind of cool i should get one of those okay and then i don't know i got this one color and it looks like it's almost brand new in a pan but it picks up really easily Yeah, I forget what color this is, but I think I think that's just why I got it, just because I like the color of it. I'm not sure why. Like I said, I wonder if I like this as like a sketching flesh tone. I think when I started to paint, I didn't like colors at all because they were so frustrating to understand for me. So I used one color and did like 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 valleys of it as like a a sketch for a portrait tone, flesh tone and I think I originally wanted this for that so I'm trying to fix this now that I did what the rest and blend it out a little bit better than the other ones although my red one of my reds blended perfect so but it's just probably because the whatever brand or pigment it was is better quality. Okay, so that one was from that pan that I thought was maybe Cotman, so it is streaky and light. Probably not light fast, so 
I think I just like this color at the time, so it, you can definitely tell in the quality because all these are good, and then that one's like, ugh. So, but I, I think I'll eventually replace this with a professional version of this color. I might actually go to the store later and buy, buy it if it's on sale because I want to just stop by anyway and um, for fun, but yeah, this is my Winter Newton set, and I really like this set. Um, I have this mixed around, so I should reorganize the browns or whatever, but I think I just had the yellows together. Oh yeah, it looks like I might have tried to pair some warm and cool, but regardless, um, I might not use this so much lately and just keep it for traveling just because I have a daily carry now, which is this little set. And I have a bigger set where I have my Van Gogh set out for, yeah, stuff here. And that's all I have out now, so. Okay, so that's it for the Windsor Newton. Thanks for watching.